Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to start doing my videos half naked now, um, so there's that, but today, I have sworn off just about one of the worst things there is in the world, sugar. Guess what? Yeah, sugar's pretty bad. It also has a history of, like, slavery and stuff like that, and uh, personally, not because of the history of slavery, but because it's bad for you and it's made half of our country into a bunch of obese steamrollers that are kind of rolling around. I think that's why the Midwest is so fat. I mean, it's fat. Um, it's also kind of sunk our country. Uh, the other thing is that we have so many fat people, I think it's actually going to lower, like, our continent below sea level or something like that. Yeah. Sugar's pretty bad. And, uh, it's not a biological imperative. Because it's a biological imperative, and it's not a biological imperative, imperative, it makes absolutely no sense why it is in everything that we have. It's become a, what do you call it? Um, oh, wait, this isn't even plugged in. Fuck me. Character break. this out in case the uh, microphone's not working. Yeah, you know, the thing about Madeira is um, there's really good wine that comes from there because the soil there is different than the soil everywhere else in the world. I have a theory behind that. So back a long, long time ago when we were just, you know, pissing on the streets, didn't have any sense of cleanliness whatsoever, um, people started growing, uh, what did they do? They liked wine. Um, they didn't really have any uh, knowledge about silver. Well, they probably did. I should do more research before I do these videos. Um, anyway, after a little bit of thought, I have kind of figured out how I'm going to say this. So what happened with the island of Madeira is they found it, and because it was um, volcanic soil, it's extremely rich soil. So what the old people do is they're like, oh, we're just going to farm the shit out of this island. They cut down all the trees of this greatly forested island and started growing sugar. In fact, they grew the crop so much that the soil lost its fertility and it fucking nuked the island. So they couldn't grow sugar there anymore. Sugar production then moved across the seas and other, you know, colonial states started growing it in the Americas. But why did they nuke the sugar? Why did they nuke the soil? You know, they, it wasn't like medieval farming. Um, why didn't they just switch? They switched to wine making anyway, which worked anyway. But um, the thing was, is at the time, the sugar crop had gained so much money for them and money is power that's like a theme that we see throughout history it gained so much money for them that they just kept doing it because it worked and they kept doing it and they kept on getting slaves to uh because you need labor you know um pr land productive whatever something plus labor if you've got to do my research on these things again this is what i researched in college it's really cool but yeah they just fucked and nuked the island soil fertility and uh if you look at the history of sugar today you know, we have the same thing. We have similar um, traits in our society. It's not biologically imperative, but we grow it everywhere. And guess what sugar is today? Corn syrup, which is in everything. And corn is also a fucking flex cop crop. And um, do you know how much corn we grow? Go into Google Images, um, Google Earth, and uh, you'll see how much fucking corn we grow. It's obscene. You know that? If if somebody were to create a corn virus, the terrorists want to destroy the American economy, all they'd have to do is create a corn virus. That would be worse than any other thing that people could do. Why? Because it would crash your economy. That's why. One of the things I think we should do with sugar is I think we should make it illegal to have certain amounts of sugar in our food. We make people less fat. Economy may actually be less dependent on something as stupid as sugar, which is not needed. I think the only reason why sugar is as popular as it is is it's practically a drug. 
Um, yeah, it is kind of a drug today. Uh, and it's in everything. It's in everything. People are likely to buy it. You know what I mean? So, you know, the whole sugar thing, we're, we're kind of fucked because we grow so much fucking sugar. Um, yeah. And, you know, I'm so energetic today. I actually feel wonderful, even though I'm kind of sick. I feel so wonderful because I stopped eating sugar. It's not good for you. It's addictive. It's horrible. And the other thing about sugar is that when you eat sugar, you get addicted to it. And you feel like you have to have it in everything. Your tastes change. Your biomechanics, whatever, changes. Your gut biome changes. And your gut biome is really fucking important. And if you overlook the importance of the gut biome, I'm sorry, but you're an idiot. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just sugar is one of the worst things that the world has in my opinion. It has a horrible history of all sorts of stuff. You know, I'm not here to educate you guys. I'm here to entertain and, I guess, kind of, like, bring up important political topics and act like a fucking lunatic on camera. But, yeah, it's not needed, and I really don't think our society needs as much sugar as it has. You know? And also, the other thing is that it decreases our ability to be able to taste, you know, the subtle goodness and things. I, I did this a while ago. It's non-sugar diet. I like coffee more, I like more subtle recipes. My food palette became so much more complex. And uh, I was going to say something about else about Madeira. You know what comes out of Madeira now? Really good port and really good wine. And I bet the reason you haven't heard of it, because all of y'all are sad sacks of shit, and you don't have very complex taste because of all that sugar you're consuming. Well, guess what? Stop eating sugar and have a glass of Madeira wine. It is like an orgasm for your mouth. It's better than sex. It is, like, the best fucking thing on earth. Yeah. But, yeah, sugar is an addiction, you know, and all that kind of shit. I really think that we need to stop making so much sugar. And I think that, I mean, it's, it sounds kind of stupid and communist, but our society would be much better if we almost did a petition to produce less sugar. I will stand by that. I don't care what people throw at me. It's destroying our society. Look how fat we are. I mean, sugar is not single-handedly destroying our society, but if we cut down our sugar intake as a nation, we'd be happier, we'd be healthier. You know, we'd probably have a... Um, we'd probably start growing other things. We could start doing other things with our time and wasting our time as a society producing sugar, which we don't need. You know? grow our own foods, stuff like that, you know, it's, it's just uh, internal substance, which would result in more jobs for local farmers, and then we wouldn't have as many people voting for Trump. Um, I'm sure half of you don't get that connection. I'm sorry, I'm being an asshole. Okay, bye!